Do you guys know what this means? Oh my god, I wanted this so bad. We're so prompts and a few books that I want to read that have been on my radar for a long time. I put them all in this bowl. Let's just get started because I just want to know what my TBR is. Okay, let's go first pick. First one is Not a Happy Family. I'm actually not mad about this one at all. It's already off to a better start than the last one was. This book I've been wanting to read and I almost picked it up today, so perfect timing. Okay, let's see what we have. Out of Comfort Zone. Okay, so this is a prompt. I got this one last time, and I hated that prompt. Let's go to our third pick. <laughs> I got My Sister Picks a Book. So this one's pretty straightforward. I don't trust my sister's judgment. Fourth one. Okay, wait, this one's not bad either. This one is Clockwork Prince. It's the start of a series that I've been wanting to read for a long time, and it has like three books in the series. We'll obviously talk about it later, but Clockwork Prince, not mad about that at all. Last pick. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Oh my god, I wanted this so bad. A Court of Wings and Ruin. This is the third book in the Akatar series, and I've been wanting to read it for so long. Okay, this time was way better than last time. Let's go ahead and let's pick out the books and let's talk about them. If you guys are on my floor, you know it's time to talk about some books. So we have three books that got picked that I know for sure before I pick the prompts. I'm just gonna talk about what I know. I. You guys have probably heard about these books, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. First book that got picked is Not a Happy Family by Sherry LaPena. This book was actually on my TBR for last month, but I never got a chance to read it because... Book slump. Hold on, where is Sherry LaPena's other book? Give me a second. This whole book stack almost fell down. Okay. That would not have been good and I would have probably had a mental breakdown. It's about to fall again. What the heck, man? I can't have another mental breakdown. Okay, so Not a Happy Family by Sherry LaPena. The reason that I found this book and bought this book is actually because I read The Couple Next Door. The Couple Next Door, I gave a four stars, five stars, I don't know, but it was a short thriller and I still think about it till this day. So, so excited to read a longer book by Sherry LaPena. The next two are fantasies, which I've been in my fantasy era, so I'm not mad about that at all, but this is The Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. This is the first in The Infernal- This is book two. This is book two of The Infernal Devices series. I'm just gonna change it to Clockwork Angel. If that's cheating, I'm a cheater, whatever. But when I wrote these down, I thought this was the first book, so obviously not. Moving on, the one I'm most excited for is the third Akatar book. I checked this out from the library, but I did buy the other two Akatar books. Is it in frame? I don't know. But yeah, I have the two Akatar books right here. And also, I have my dog right here. My dog is sleeping so peacefully right now, and I love her for it. She's not even snoring super loudly, which normally happens. Anyways, A Court of Wings and Ruin. I don't feel like I need to talk about Akatar at all because you guys know. Like, I'm excited to read this. I just love when there's no world building because you're already far enough into the series that, like, the world doesn't need to be built for you again so you're not confused. This book is just becoming more of a character study and I'm obsessed with it. Okay, with all that being said, let's go pick our prompts. First prompt that I picked was Out of Comfort Zone. I have so many books on my TBR. When I pick out a book, I know myself very well, so I don't pick out books that I don't like. Honestly, this is gonna be probably a book that's been on my TBR for way too long that just needs to be read. Okay, so all of these books at the top and right here, these are library books, so I'm not gonna pick any of these because, girl, I just picked them out. Like, not out of my comfort zone in the slightest. But let me move over here. These books over here are all out of my comfort zone. They're up here because they're more like literary fiction, just weird murder mystery, just things that like I don't read. <laughs> I just read Seven Days in June and I just read Untamed, so those are out if those were what you were reading for. Sorry, I already read them. Watch my March reading wrap up if you want to know my opinions on those. The choices are between the altogether unexpected disappearance of Atticus Craftsman. Should be fun, but I don't know if this is what I want to pick. The other book that I'm leaning towards is Someone Else's Shoes, but I just picked this for my last month's TBR, and I just feel like this needs to sit for a little bit longer. So, I guess we're going with... This should be fun. It's like a murder mystery. I'm, I'm actually excited for this. This book is a literary fiction mystery book, and it takes place 
in an older time period. So like normally not what I read. So last prompt is sister gets to pick a book. Let's call her up, see if she would rather come over here and pick a book or if she wants to pick on FaceTime. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, everyone. My sister didn't want to pick a book. So we're going to go next best option. Well, the best option because mom, I know you're watching this. Let's go get mom over here and she'll pick a book for me. You can come. <laughs> So good. I'm sorry. I can't listen to Brim Brim. You're being so good. Oh, my last chance books. I just did enough of that. I just chose not to read that book. I was getting ready to read that. <laughs> so we got over here. Answers locked in, but I said in this video that this was on my um, to be read list last month and that I skipped it and didn't want to read it. <laughs> but also, I've been wanting to read this Our book girly. for a while, so I'm actually okay with this. That might have some meaning to it. It definitely does. You might learn a lesson or two from that one. Okay, my mom picked Someone Else's Shoes by Jojo Moyes. This book, I think, is just it says, Who are you when you are forced to walk in someone else's shoes? It follows Nisha and Sam, which are two women who have very different lives. What do you think? Yeah. And we're leaving tomorrow for Kentucky. It follows Nisha and Sam, which are two women who are just very different, have completely different lives. And I guess, like, don't appreciate their lives. So then they switch lives. So yeah, we're going to see how this is. These are all of the books on my TBR for April. I don't know how many I'm going to get to. They're all super fun. They're all a lot different. I'm just now realizing I didn't get a single rom-com. And rom-coms contribute to my happiness levels, so I'm hoping this doesn't get me down for the month. But this is actually a pretty good stack of books. So here's the final overlook. I love you so much. I will see you guys super soon. And remember, you are enough. I have not said that tagline in so long. Goodbye.